So this is Justin Gimino from DragonBlogger.com, and I'm here talking about the Asus Transformer Book T100 TA again, which I've had several weeks to use, and I really like this tablet uh, slash hybrid book. This is basically a full Windows 10, 10 now because I upgraded, but it came with Windows 8.1. It's a full Windows tablet slash notebook. It comes with the keyboard cover case. As you can see, it closes up. It has a lot of weight to it, though. It's not nearly as light as a thin tablet like an iPad or a Kindle Fire GX. This thing actually weighs a lot compared. So it's more like a laptop, a more tiny laptop replacement with a touchscreen than it would be like a like if you wanted a real thin light tablet. It's actually really heavy. Even without the keyboard, the tablet itself is actually pretty heavy because it's got beefier components in it. You know, we've got 64 gig um, eMMC storage. You've got your RAM. I could play Hearthstone on this thing. I could install Steam on it and play some of the weaker Steam games, like indie games. Like I could play Minecraft. I could play, um, you know, Starbound, um, Terraria, etc. So you get full Steam. You get everything you would on a PC in a device that's portable as a tablet. And it's surprisingly powerful for how small it is. I've used three, you know, four, five hundred dollar Lenovo Z5 and Z575 laptops, and this thing will outperform those at just 11 inches. Um, it'll outperform those as far as some of the things it plays. So I'm really, really impressed with it. Now, the keyboard case that it comes with is really nice at protecting it. The keys are responsive. The only thing I have as an issue with the keyboard is because of the way the keys are placed and the way you have to, they're so far up, right? When I touch type, my thumbs have no choice but to press and trigger the touchpad. So I wound up having to disable the trackpad, right? And obviously, this is a tablet case, right? So back to disable the trackpad, I've got to use the one USB port or get a USB port uh, hub and use a mouse with it because I just can't type with it efficiently while this trackpad's enabled. I have to force myself to like lift my thumbs up and only tap and hunt and peck with fingers or two or three fingers. I can't really truly touch type if this trackpad's enabled. It, it just interferes with my thumbs too much. Now, if I have a mouse and I have the trackpad set up to be disabled when I have a mouse, it's fine. It's a non-issue. But if you really don't want to have to use a mouse to it and use it more like a tablet, know that that may be an issue for you is you'll have to remember that when you tap on the keys, you have to keep your thumbs above. And it's just not natural when you're a touch typist like me. Uh, other than that, the, the, the screen itself is extremely responsive and fast. Um, everything loads very quickly for a Windows tablet. Um, I reviewed Windows tablets that are between $100 and $200. This is, you know, depending on what it retails, this is $260. Uh, could be as high as $400 in some places. This is a really, really nice Windows tablet. Uh, really nice Intel Bay Trail processors. It's responsive. If you wanted to get something that was in the sub $300 range, that you needed the portability of a tablet, but you needed to have a little more power and full windows, you know, for office, for doing being more productive. Um, this is the Asus T100 TA, and I wasn't sent this tablet to review from Asus. I actually won this in a contest from Exotic PC in a giveaway of sweepstakes randomly, so I just decided to do a review on it. Um, because, like I said, I, I usually get Windows tablets to review. This one just happened to be one that I won in a giveaway. I've never reviewed the Asus T100 TA Transform before. One of my team members on Dragon Blogger, Raymond, he actually owns and bought an Asus Transformer Book T100 TA, and he loves it. He thinks it's excellent. So, again, Asus T100 TA Transformer Book. If you're looking for something that's like a smaller version of a laptop, it's not quite as thin and light as a tablet, because, again, this has a lot more weight than you would expect for it to be this tiny. It really does have more weight. Um, than you would expect. So if, you, if you're used to if you're used to carrying like this, it's gonna it's gonna add weight over time. This isn't the kind of tablet you want to lay on on your back and like stare at the screen and read while you're laying in bed. Because if this thing fell on your nose, it could probably break your nose. Because I you know you see how people lay on their beds and they're holding a tablet or phone above them and they get tired and they get the sleepy face and they drop the tablet. This thing's gonna hurt if it drops on you. So. It's not that light. It's more perfect to use if you're in a classroom, you're in a lecture, a conference hall. You need something that you could type on. Although, again, I if you touch type, you're going to want that. You're going to want that little mini mouse on the side and disable the trackpad. But it's it's really nice how that it has the full responsive keys that's, that raise out and you can feel each resounding click. So it's a little bit of a small keyboard, but it's definitely manageable. Likewise, if you didn't want to use the keyboard case, you could always use a portable foldable keyboard like this one instead and keep it attached separately and you can get larger keys and then you don't have to worry about the trackpad you know, interference, things like that. So again, Asus T100 Transformer Book, really, really nice. If you are gonna get one, I highly recommend you get the one with the 64 gigabyte EMs and C storage for that additional storage room. Although you can plug an SD card into it and you can increase it by another 128 gig storage if you need to. And it just acts like an extra hard drive. You don't have any problems installing apps there. Remember the Windows App Store with those limited Windows apps, 
they're pretty locked on where they install. But when you install apps through a browser, Chrome, like traditional Windows desktop apps, you can just choose to install to an SD card like as a drive. Thank you for watching.